Hi, Bob the Canadian here. The last video I did on phrasal verbs, everyone liked a lot and everyone asked for me to do a second one. So in this video, let's look at over 50 more phrasal verbs. And once again, I will try to act them all out so you can see what they mean. So when it's this windy, sometimes you have to lean into the wind. Do you see how this works? I used the phrasal verb lean into and the word appeared right here as I was acting out the phrasal verb. So let's learn 50 more phrasal verbs and I will try to act all of them out as best as possible. Let's get started. So I thought I would jump around on the trampoline for a little bit. My kids don't know I'm out here I think I'm a little too heavy to be on this, but it's still kind of fun. When you're done jumping around on the trampoline, you can jump down. At the end of a long day, sometimes it's nice to just kick back. That means to relax at the picnic table. Sometimes your vehicle will break down and it won't start and you have to take it to a mechanic to get it fixed. And sometimes the van isn't actually broken down. The problem is simply that you have run out of gas. Ooh. When you're riding a bike, you wanna make sure you don't run into something like this tree. You wanna make sure you look where you're going. So before I make my videos, I have to think of something to make the video on. I have to think up an idea. I have to come up with an idea. I'm sure you've had to do this before. You get a form and you need to fill out the form. You need to write down your name. You need to write down your address. You need to fill out the form. But sometimes uh, you make a mistake and then you just want to tear up the form because you have to start over again. So maybe you need some firewood and you have a tree that you don't need anymore. You could chop down the tree and then you could use the wood for firewood. Uh, if I was going to chop down a tree though, I probably wouldn't use an ax. I, I would probably use a chainsaw. By the way, I'm going to do something a little bit dangerous here. Um, if people were watching, I would ask them to stand back I would ask them to stand far away so that they don't get hurt. After you chop down the tree, you can chop up the pieces so that you can use them in your fireplace. I kind of faked that. Those, were, those pieces were already chopped up. By the way, if you didn't see the last video I did on phrasal verbs, there's a link right up here that you can follow. You should go watch it. It was a lot of fun to make and a lot of people liked watching it. So I had a lot of these wooden pallets. So I thought I would stack up the pallets so they would take up less space. It's a little tidier this way. So I have some money here. I have quarters, dimes, and nickels. And if I take this money like this, I can mix up this money. Now it's not in nice stacks anymore and I will need to sort out the money so that it's in nice stacks again. So in the last video I showed you how my truck was starting to fall apart. You could also say that the truck is starting to come apart. Uh, when you have something that is falling apart you can also say that it is coming apart. Um, it's coming apart because if you have rust the rust will eat away at the vehicle. The rust will eat away at the metal. So I'm not a thief, but if I wanted to break into this vehicle, I would probably use this crowbar and stick it in right here and pry to get the door open. Uh, I did mention I'm not a thief, right? I, I don't like to steal things. So we're about halfway through the video. If you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. That's a phrasal verb, by the way. Uh, and if you haven't yet, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But I think it's time for us to carry on with the video. That means to continue. So it's pretty windy out today and two things could happen to this pail. It could blow over, which means it goes from an upright position to its side. Uh, and it could also 
blow away, which means that the wind would just make it roll away. So if I'm not talking loud enough, you might ask me to speak up. When you ask someone to speak up, it means that you want them to speak a little more loudly. It is a fairly direct way to ask it though, so be careful, it's not exactly polite. If someone is standing too close, you might ask them to back up. You know what people really like? They like it when you give away money. If I took this money and I simply started to give away the money to people, uh, they would love it. Um, you would probably love it. Um, it's, not, it's not a lot of money though, it's just a little bit, but you would probably love it if I was to give away this money. So there's a little bit of water in the ditch behind me, so I wouldn't want to fall in the ditch. Uh, and there's a second way to say it, I wouldn't want to fall into the ditch if I- Oh! Whoa! Oh! 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 Just kidding. You know what I should do with this money? I should set aside this money. I should put it in a piggy bank, that's where little kids store money, uh, and save it to buy something really nice at a later date. I should set aside this money. So my dog Oscar is faster than me, so I'm trying to walk really fast right now to catch up to him. So this is our old hot water heater. It doesn't work anymore. It's time to throw away this hot water heater. It's time to throw out this hot water heater. That means to get rid of it, to bring it to the dump. We though will probably recycle this. That's better than throwing out or throwing something away. So whenever I have a good idea, I like to write down my idea so that I'll remember it later. There we go. So when I put this shirt on this morning, I made sure to do up all the buttons. There, now they're all done up. So on a windy day like this, I'm glad I have short hair. Otherwise, I think the wind would mess up my hair. It's hard to mess up my hair, isn't it? It kind of just stays the same no matter what I do. <laughs> so I know you're probably pretty good at math, and you know that some numbers come before other numbers, and some numbers come after other numbers. The number one comes before the number two, and the number two comes after the number one. So when you go to a store, like a hat store, you have to try on different hats to see which one you like the best. I think this one is my favorite. So on Saturday nights, I do a live stream right from this picnic table and I get to hang out with some of you. That means I get to spend time with some of you. If you haven't come to one of my live streams yet, you should. It would be a lot of fun to hang out with you. Do you think I'm strong enough to lift up this bike? I think I am. <sighs> I knew I could do it. So last week I let a bike fall over and it wasn't very nice. So this week I thought I would lay down the bike. I'll do it gently. There you go, little bike. So when you lose something, you have to look for it. That's what you do in order to find it. I'm trying to find a wrench that I need to fix something. Here it is. This is a wrench, by the way, if you were wondering. So sometimes when I'm trying to come up with an idea, I will look through a book to see if I can find something that I want to teach in English. You could also say I like to read through a book to find some ideas. So if I want to go in my van, I can open up the door. You can also just say open the door. I don't know why we say open up the door and open the door. It means the same thing. So if I step in this puddle, my shoe will get wet. But if I set it out in the sun, it will dry out. It's time to clean up. Uh, I need to wash up a little bit. I think I'll use this soap. My kids love it when I hand out money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to wipe up some of the mess on this bench before I sit down. Well, hey, that was over 50 more phrasal verbs for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you have not yet subscribed, please click that red subscribe button down there. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and please share this video with a friend. Thanks again so much for watching.